So apparently God's Not Dead is coming out with a fourth installment and they released the trailer recently and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to give my thoughts, my honest thoughts on it. I have already seen some of it and uh, without spoiling my thoughts, we're going to get right into it. But before we do, go ahead, hit the thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any notifications. I'm going to give my honest thoughts on this. I'm not going to hold back. I'm just going to watch it as freshly as I can, <laughs> try to give a fresh reaction with my honest thoughts. Give me one second. Get my stuff together. There we go. Let's see, there we are. All right, let's get into it. Freedom is a fragile thing, and it's never more than one generation away from extinction. And so it's already kind of starting a little nationalistic. Who have known freedom and then lost it have never known it again. Let's face it. Your God, your book, they're in the way. You feel that you're making a last ditch stand for your faith. And you've chosen this as a hill that you're willing to die on. Our whole faith started because one man chose a hill he was willing to die on. <laughs> I would like to call this hearing of the House Subcommittee to order. Right now, that's definitely the way to mandate universal educational guidelines. Once we decide what a child needs to know, it becomes imperative that every child know it. Remember the visit we got from social services the other day? I'm here to review your homeschooling environment. Religion has been removed from our schools. They're teaching kids that they don't need God. If your children do not show up at school a week from Monday, you will be charged with contempt of court, meaning you will be incarcerated. <laughs> Shannon said last night she doesn't want her parents going to jail. This is bigger than just homeschooling. I think we should fight this. We need to. <laughs> so I need to understand what like you're fighting here. Our district teaches a revisionist version of history. If God is for us. Who can be against us? Not around here. Just about everyone else. The country is just now beginning to realize that unity means winning under our terms. For 2,000 years, men have been trying to get rid of Christianity. What makes you think that you can accomplish what they couldn't? They didn't have an 83% approval rating. So, number one, the fact that they're already, they're coming out with a fourth God's Not Dead already. I'm not necessarily feeling that. I mean... I like new ideas. The first God's Not Dead was great. Before, it just sounds like a lot. This is a very much more of like a... I don't know. Here's what I'm going to say. Here's my honest thoughts. My fear with this movie, just from watching less than two minutes of the trailer, is that this is creating... I would say like a political boogeyman. And it's creating this situation, which I think there is a lot of this that is real. Like I think there are some legit concerns that all believers in this country should have as far as like overreaching politics like we saw during the this pandemic uh how many churches were shut down and how we saw grocery stores liquor stores strip clubs opened up so there is attacks that i think are both intentional and maybe not as deliberate against the church and against like our religious freedoms. And so we know that the religious freedoms have come under many attacks. My fear is that this movie is going to create a caricature of what uh, politicians are doing the efforts to stifle religious freedom and come against it. I think it's creating some caricatures of what the narrative is as far as like the homeschooling and things like that. And I, my only fear is that this could have the opposite effect. Like, I don't know that most people that are going to watch this movie, I think just from just guessing and i could be wrong are people that already agree that religious freedom is powerful they're going to be people this is basically a movie basically to pat other cons christian conservatives on the back people who already agree people who stand on the word people who are uh pro first amendment freedom of religion all of those people this is just another pat on the back basically type of movie and i don't necessarily see this as something that can reach outside it just my heart is i want something that not only is good for us you know what i'm saying but also good for outside of here i want people outside of here to hear the perspectives that the church has but i feel like we won't be able to accomplish that if all we're doing is creating caricatures and i fear that in this movie there are some caricatures that uh focus more on conservatism than bible 
And we do have a great and amazing, an amazing luxury in this country of having freedom of religion, freedom of speech, all of those different things and freedom to practice our religion. Don't get me wrong. Very beautiful rights. I don't want to minimize that because there are countries that don't have that. I think uh, freedom of religion is amazing and I don't like any attacks against it, but I just don't want caricatures painted of what these attacks look like. I don't want caricatures. And I think with oftentimes with pure flicks and with the God's Not Dead series and other movies, they create caricatures of Christians. They cre create caricatures of us and they create caricatures of the people that are opposed to us. When in reality, a lot of these situations don't always unfold like this. Sometimes they do. But that's my fear is that this movie, just my honest reaction is this movie is more of a caricature of <laughs> situations. And I'm not saying that there aren't real attacks. I would love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to leave a comment. Feel free to disagree. This is just my honest opinion is that this movie might be a little bit cheesy as a lot of pure flicks movies are. And it creates a caricature of these scenarios and how they kind of play out. And I think we need something that is not just for us. Like this, I don't want to, I don't feel like this will lead the echo chamber of most Christians, especially those that are more conservative and that are more, following a lot of what's going on in politics as far as what they perceive like with the Equality Act, which I've done a video on, by the way. So I do have my differences when it comes to a lot of the policies and potential implications and concerns that I have with them. So this isn't to say that there isn't some truth in this and there isn't some concerns that I would have. I know for me, when I have children, I want them to be homeschooled. So I'm going to watch the movie. I'll probably watch it and have an open heart and even do a review on this channel. But these are my immediate thoughts with the trailer. I'm not super excited about it. I just think it's a little bit more nationalistic than it is about fighting the good fight of faith. But I could be wrong. I have to I'm open to watching the movie and changing my mind on it. I'm open also to hearing differing opinions. So feel free to leave your opinion in the comments below. This is just my honest opinion. I'm not showing any hate against it, but this is just my concerns that I have up front. And I think there are better ways that we can reach culture and not trying to reach the culture within a church that already agrees with this. So that's really the heart of this discussion. So drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts before you head out. Hit the thumbs up on this video. Like it. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any notifications. So let me know your thoughts. I want my way to the top. I, I cannot fit in the middle. I, I cannot fit in the middle. I, I cannot fit in the middle. I want my way to the top. I,